morning in early March. Lyle and I are here in San Pedro at the Catalina Express terminal. We're waiting to board our ferry to get over to Avalon. Tomorrow we start our five day, four night Trans Catalina backpacking trip. We've actually tried to do this backpacking trip two times before but because of COVID, both times we've had to cancel. So we're excited that we actually have gotten to this point of the trip today. electric bikes and biked up to this viewpoint. Catalina Island has two big towns. Avalon is the bigger and most more popular one. We're starting our hike in Avalon and we'll be ending in Two Harbors which is the smaller town on the other side of the island. It's a nice viewpoint but it's time to get back to town. day today of over 10 miles with a lot of steep climbing so we want to head out head out early um, there's about four hours of cloud coverage so we're hoping to get most of the climb done before then we're walking over towards the conservancy where the true trailhead begins This is the official trailhead. This is also where you go to get your backcountry permit and we got it yesterday. It's very simple. There's a kiosk in there. Everything's online. You don't even have to talk to anybody. We're about a mile and a half in and this is Hermit Gulch campground. A lot of people choose to Stay the first night here, we chose Avalon, but we are about to start our first climb. Wow, it's so green. I wasn't expecting this much greenery. Doesn't even look like we're in Catalina. of the day from Hermit Gulch to here is about 1.7 miles and 1,500 feet of elevation gain. The trail is not that steep because there were lots of switchbacks. Also, we saw lots of wildflowers on the way and so we got really distracted and that just helped us um, from getting tired. Rest time is over and now we continue on the fire road. It's going to be 
gradual up and down for a while. We are halfway to Blackjack. That's where we're camping tonight. Right after the towers, we come to this sign and this is where we leave the fire roads and we enter the trails again. We're about to enter bison country. This opening is so narrow, my pack can barely make it through. I wonder if a bison's head can fit through here. We're leaving the fenced in area. Just make sure we close it when we uh, after we're out, here we go. Don't miss this little junction back onto the trails from the fire road. Um, and there's a nice little bench over there. Good resting spot. Our first bison sighting. Over there, there's a whole herd of them. Seven miles in. This breeze feels so good. We've got two more big climbs left, and the next one is over that ridge over there. It's a tree tunnel! <laughs> what a beautiful entrance to our next climb up. The top is in view, finally. That was a hard climb. I felt my glutes on that one, on my calves. But guess what? It was a fall summit. So we made it finally to the true summit of this ridge. We have one more descent into the valley and then up over that next ridge to get to Blackjack. But the view on the top of this ridge is beautiful. We can see the ocean over here and it's so nice. The breeze is wonderful. We just had a nice quick lunch break here at mile marker number nine, which means we have a mile and a little bit more to get to camp. Here's a little bench made out of old trail markers and it's kind of placed perfectly because the ascent down was super steep. tunnel. Here's an encouraging sight, mile, mile marker number 10 in the middle of our climb, which means hopefully that is the true top of the ridge right there and we'll be getting into camp pretty soon. Campsite is in view. So we've got our tent up, we've made it here to Blackjack Campground. This is site number three. I kind of like it, kind of isolated over here. Um, today was our hardest day. We went about ten and a half miles and probably up 3,000 feet of elevation gain. I would say the last climb, although it was shorter, it was deeper and it was the hardest mentally because I was just ready to be done. But um, we have the rest of the afternoon and the evening to do whatever we want. 
do some reading, some writing, cook something to eat and wander around. We slept for 10 straight hours last night. It was a marvelous sleep. Today is day two. We have a late start today because we get to stop at the airport, which is about two miles in for breakfast. And they don't open until about 8.30. Um, today is a nice, easy day. It's eight and a half miles, um, but mostly downhill. We only have about 900 feet of elevation gain, mostly at the beginning of the um, of the hike so it's gonna be a nice easy day we will end in little harbor and that's gonna be so much fun we love that campground we're leaving blackjack campground and heading to the airport It is so green on the island right now. Early March, I just can't really believe it. That's the airport in the sky. That's where we're going and hopefully getting a good breakfast. There are so many mature trees on this side of the island. Um, there's lots of clumps of forested areas around here, and I didn't realize that. What a charming little path. We've been hearing croaking sounds for about a mile away, and we know every time we hear frogs, there's going to be water somewhere around. And here it is. We're in the middle of our major climb to the airport. to Little Harbor. It's mostly downhill, so it'll be a nice pleasant walk. we're walking along we can see across the ocean to San Pedro and Long Beach where we left um, the ferry to get to Catalina and then we can also see some snow-capped mountains and we think the one closest to us is Mount Baldy. After about two miles on the road we're hopping back on the trail. of this ridge we can see the ocean on both sides of the island and over here we can see Little Harbor which is where we will be camping for the night. We found this windy perch. We are taking a quick rest before the final two miles down all downhill to Little Harbor. It's gonna be tough on the knees so just a little rest before that. Ours, we've got 
got our bundle of wood and two paddles for our kayak. We've set up tent, our tent, and so now we get to have fun. We rented kayaks and we're gonna go out for a little paddle. The water looks pretty calm. Water feels so nice. Airport had a quick breakfast, brunch, and then it was a hot six miles to here, Little Harbor. Um, we came in, did an afternoon paddle, came back in from paddling, and we actually ordered um, sandwiches to go from the airport. So that's what we had. We had an early dinner. And then we went out for another sunset paddle and we just came back, built this fire and we're trying to get some warmth from the fire right now. And that's the end of today. and say goodbye to our beautiful campsite. Bye-bye, Stubby Palm Tree. I love that palm tree. Today we have six miles to go to Two Harbors. It's our shortest day yet, but it's a tough climb up to begin with, so we gotta get started. All right, we're back on the trail and it starts with a climb. From this vantage point, we can look down and see little Harbor Campground and site number 10. Our site, the best one. About two thirds of today is climbing up. We have about 1,300 feet of elevation gain today in about four miles-ish. Um, it's a difficult climb because there aren't any switchbacks and the trail is just full of gravel and loose rocks and it just kind of follows the ridge line up to the top. top of the first steep climb and the views just keep getting better. We are kind of hugging the coastline to our left the whole time and it's beautiful. We're about to start our next major climb up but we noticed that along the trail there are these broken down fences and I wonder if they were put up in the past to keep the bison from getting too close to the water. today. They're starting in two harbors and running to Avalon. We're about to approach the monster climb for today. Up along that ridge line all the way up but at the very top there's a rest stop and that's where we're having breakfast. 
about halfway up this climb and thank goodness there's been a constant breeze lifting us up this mountain oh, and the views of the coast so beautiful is the most beautiful uh, of the whole Trans Catalina Trail so far. Well earned viewpoint and breakfast. until we get close to the end and then it's a long way down. We have our first good view of two harbors. Hidden among this grove of trees is the shady resting spot of this abandoned car. of two harbors. And look at this pretty cactus fruit. I think we're leaving bison country for the last time. So luckily we saw the herd that first day. combination, lock combination code for Parsons and then it's lunchtime. We just finished our one big meal of the day and now we are headed to the campground and we see it over there so it's about a quarter mile or so. Today we started out in Little Harbor and we hiked about 6.5 miles here to Two Harbors Campground. We're in this lovely little cove here. Um, we stopped in town for a big lunch and then got over here, took a nice dip in the very, very cold water, but that motivated us to get a nice shower, cold shower, but now we're nice and clean, fresh clothes to start off day four. It's an early morning today four, and um, we got up before sunrise so that we can get a head start on today's hike. Today we're going to leave two harbors and go to Parsons Landing. That's going to be about seven miles with a continuous climb up to the highest point of the, on the island. That'll be like about a thousand nine hundred feet of elevation gain. Then it's a steep downhill all the way to the beach where we will be camping our last night. Starting to get color on the other side. Now we're 
walking along Cat Harbor. it one step at a time. Part, and we're about halfway up the mountain now and we have our first view of the peak that we are heading towards and from here to there it's still upwards but more of a rolling up. harbors and we keep getting glimpses of it on this trail. We made it to the peak of this mountain. We think this is the highest point on this island. There are two ways up and we chose the shorter but steeper route. We can see Blackjack Mountain, the furthest peak way over on the other side of the mountain, and it has um, the towers on top. So we were there the first night. That's where we camped. And then towards the middle of the island, we see another set of towers, and those are the ones we passed yesterday, just right outside of um, Two Harbors. worth mentioning that um, if you want a pleasant experience on this section of the trail that timing is really important you want to get up here early enough so that the Sun's not beating down on you because there aren't really any tall trees to give you much shade but you don't want to get up too early because you, then you'll miss the views the beautiful views coming up view. Starlight Beach, which is the very end of the island, is that way. And originally we had planned to stay at Parsons Landing for two nights, but because of ferry scheduling conflicts, we can't. So we cannot do Starlight Beach this time around, which means we'll just have to come back. Going over the edge. This is really steep. I've got my poles all the way extended. And we see our campsite over there. Lyle 
it doesn't use poles. Again. And he is gone. We've been going downhill for almost a mile and most of the way has been really steep. But this section right here, there's so many loose rocks. It's definitely hard on your knees and your ankles and poles are definitely recommended. The trail markers on this Trans Catalina Trail has been strategically placed, well spaced out, and visible. It's very hard to get lost. Look at these beautiful blossoming trees! We're here at Parsons Landing! Here's the entrance to our campsite, site number one. Parsons Landing. Um, this is our last night on the Trans Catalina Trail. Today we went from two harbors here and that was about eight miles. About 2,000 feet of elevation gain and loss. Um, I think the harder part for me was going down. It was steep. There were lots of loose rocks. I was constantly like rolling with it, <laughs> with the loose rocks. So that was the hard part. our final day here on the island. Today we have uh, 7.5 miles to get back to two harbors. So we left this morning before dark and we're about a mile, over a mile in right now. So today it's just gonna be fast walking to get back so we can catch our ferry at 11.45.
BC2 Harbors Campground over there. It's pretty over there. On the Trans Catalina Trail is coming to an end. It's been a successful trip. We saw so much more wildflowers and wildlife than we expected. The island, we've seen the island so green. Uh, we didn't expect that. It's been a wonderful trip. And now we just have to get back to town, get breakfast, and wait for our ferry back. Last mile marker, mile 38. Climbing on top of things where you may fall off, no crawling into things where you can hit your head or skin your knees. was the 